Hi, my name is Peter Maestro Vale, also known as Conga Vale, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the songo pattern. This is actually my variation on a songo. It's not per se the traditional songo, but I find that it fits in a lot of patterns. When I play with my band Dos Santos, uh, there's a lot of rock. This songo pattern suits the rhythms that we do uh, in our band. And uh, I will begin by showing you uh, based on uh, the songo pattern on two drums. One, two, three, four. Uh, for the songo pattern, there are different traditional songo patterns and many variations. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to incorporate something of a melodic uh, uh, take on the songo. And usually I'll incorporate a third drum. Uh, we usually use this uh, pattern for uh, B-sides of, uh, of songs or something slowed down. And uh, I'll show you what I mean by using the third conga. One, two, three. Now, something very interesting about the songo pattern that I found is that sometimes I might find myself playing with a reggae band. And what I'll do is I'll take the songo and I'll just kind of swing it. And uh, I tend to find that this actually does fit into a reggae pattern. And so I might even call this my old reggae songo pattern. And it goes something like this, a little swinged out. One, two, three, four. So what I introduced to you today was a songo pattern. Of course, it's not mostly the traditional, but it is my take on the songo pattern and also how I like to use it in the reggae pattern. Make sure that you do practice all of your rhythms slowly and make sure that you understand that the technique will produce the sound. Thank you very much. <laughs>